Hello everybody, what is going on? We are back with another ep- episode of the Pittsburgh Pirates franchise on MLB The Show 18. We are going to start with the Triple A All-Star game here in this episode. So looking for a player from our Indianapolis Indians that has made the All-Star game that we can do a player lock on. As we take a look, looks like we are in the IL All-Stars. So with Mark Trumbo and Troy Tulowitzki, Brendan McKay on the team, as well as Zachary Swain from our squad. So good to see some of our players making it from the Indianapolis Indians. Uh, I think, obviously, Brendan McKay is going to be the guy everyone wants to see. So that's who we will highlight in this All-Star game at Progressive Field. Where my favorite team, the Cleveland Indians, play. So here we go. Let's see what we can do. Brendan McKay, 326, 16 homers, 72 ribbies in this season for the Indians. Let's see what he's going to do in this All-Star game. And the I.L. already up 2-0. McKay going to swing at the first pitch. So the 0-1 fouled off. McKay trying to hang in tough. Then he takes a ball on the outside. It's going to be 1-2. He takes another ball high and tight. Then another foul. 2-2 pitch. With two outs. And he's going to line this one up center. And that one going to be a hit. And that will put two on with two out in the inning. So there we go. The next batter going to strike out. Now later on in the game, it's a 7-0 lead. And McKay taking a strike on the outside. Edge and then looking foolish on the strikeout there. But able to get to second on a wild pitch as his teammate. And later would be a score 8-1. There's a strikeout by McKay. And then later on in the sixth, it's going to be a base knock. And he will knock a run in. So an RBI for McKay in the sixth inning. Now a 9-5 game. And that will be an out. McKay would then be pinch hit for another all-star understandable as they like to get everyone some playing time so we manage out to the end of the game and there it is the international league all-stars do win troy tulowitzki is your player of the game with a homer but we know that our boy mckay did a pretty good job two for four about at 500 knocked in a run how did swain do he went one for four So, not too bad. Our players there from the Indianapolis Indians. So, all in all, decent game as we take a look at the rest of the box score. There's the pitching side of things. Only Despain was pretty awful. Peoples wasn't that good either. But, nonetheless, a 9-5 win. Now, we're going to check out the double-A All-Star game where a lot of our Altoona Curve players should be playing. Bobby Gerard playing down there for the um, ELW All-Stars. Starling Heredia, another guy who made it. Chris Bostic made it as well as a starter. And Danny Bethea made it as a starter as well. So all that good news. I think for this purpose, um, it's a tough decision on who to highlight in this one, but Bobby Gerard is a 19-year-old B. Sterling Heredi is a 19-year-old B. He's the better overall player. So you know what? I think we will go with Starling Heredia in this one. All right, here we go. I don't know why we're in the West All-Stars, considering Altoona is Pennsylvania, but whatever. We'll take it as it comes, right? Here's Heredia with a man on in the second inning. 
And he's going to fly this one out to right field. That is going to be caught, and he's out of there. Here he is playing a little left field, and Heredia going back to the wall, and that one's out of here. And that's a 1-0 lead for the East. Heredia now coming up in the fourth inning with two out, none on. And this one going to be grounded up the middle. That's going to be a base hit for Starling Heredia. He gets on first base. Can it start a rally? There's a hit out to center field, left field that is, and it will be caught to end the inning. Later on, sixth inning, the West up 2-1 to one now, and Heredia with one out, none on, is going to hit this one into right, and that one going to be caught for an out. Now Manning left field, Heredia. There's a ball hit right to him, and nice catch in the outfield. Now another one. And both of the first outs in the seventh are caught by Heredia. They would then pinch hit him as they normally do in all-star games. A 3-1 lead. There's Phil Sherrill. That is our man right there. And right now he is shutting the door. But we're going to take him out, put Para in as we, you know, all-stars. All-star game, whatever. You know, give him a chance to do something. So Para going to get the save in that one. Bobby Gerard is the player of the game. He hit a homer in this one. So there we go. Another member of our Altoona curve getting it done. You see Bostwick. You see Bethea. We're on that board of notables. So a lot of guys getting the job done who play for Altoona. Expect Altoona to do big things with that kind of production in, in an all-star game. It was basically the Altoona curve against the East All-Stars in some way. So, looking at the pitchers, there's Cheryl. He got a hold. Two scoreless innings for him. Only gave up one hit. So, he did a great job. And that takes care of that All-Star game. Now, let's get to the All-Star festivities for the Major League. Mitch Keller suffers an injury, which kind of sucks for us. And the Mets still trying to trade me Hansel Robles, a guy I am not interested in. Mitch Keller back to not being injured, so we bring him back in. Today is the Futures game, so let's take a look at the Futures game. We do have a player playing in it, and it is Brandon McKay. So we will highlight him again as the USA taking on the world here at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. Brendan McKay, another highlight of his. Let's see how he does in this All-Star game. Now, a week later, he's batting 327 with 17 homers. So continuing his great play in the minors. And here he is with two outs in the first, and he takes strike number one swinging. Then he's going to hit one up the middle, and that is a routine ground ball that will easily be taken care of for the out. Now in the fourth inning, he gets another chance. That's a dribbler and not really running that hard. He's been criticized for that at times. USA now on top, one nothing, and he's going to ground one up the middle. That'll be a leadoff single to start in the sixth inning. Can they start a bit of trouble? On to second base with a walk, and now it's going to be a hit, and he will get to third base. One out, second and third. There's another little dribbler. And McKay going to score a run here. So that'll be the second run of the game. And USA on top to nothing. McKay a little misplay there, but he gets back to where he belongs and calls it off. That'll be an out. Now to the bottom of the eighth inning where he is up at bat. He's going to foul this one over to the left foul grounds, and that will be caught for an out. So he is out there. McKay, though, does score a run, one for four, and USA does beat the World Futures. Now looking at the home run derby, Miguel Sano, Aaron Judge, Edwin Encarnacion, Brian Dozier, uh, Jed Gallorco, 
uh, Adam Duvall, who hit two dingers against us last episode. So here we go. This is the finals, as I showed you the bracket right there. Paul Goldschmidt is first, and he will take on Jed Giorko for the championship of the Home Run Derby. Here we go with just 30 seconds for him. He's only got two homers on the board. How many more can he add? He's got three now. He's got four now. So that's all Goldschmidt was able to throw up there. This is Giorko's time. Will he be able to catch Goldschmidt? Let's see. Goldschmidt watching nervously, but right now Giorko has none. No home runs at all. There's his first one, and that one into left field. And I'm not he's not he's not hitting him. He's letting pitches go. This is wasting his time. And he will hit a second home run, but that is it by a score of four to two. Paul Goldschmidt wins the home run derby. And now looking at the all-star game, the American League All-Stars, we have no, st well, we're, we're not American League, but that's the American League All-Stars. National League All-Stars, we have no starter. So none of the players in the National League starting lineup are Pirates. So what we'll do instead is we will manage this game. The, as a matter of fact, the only player that we have on this All-Star lineup in the Major Leagues... We don't have any position players, as I'm looking through. I, there's none. No position players. Let's see. We do have closing pitcher Felipe Rivero. That is it. So hopefully we can get into a save situation and see Rivero shut the door. But so far, American League on top, one nothing. Thrown out at home, and the American League retained their lead. Now we're going to just, you know, we're keeping the pitchers fresh, trying to sub them in every couple of innings so they can all get some work in. Wow. Into the fourth now. And nothing doing the American League. We get out of that inning on them. Now the Clayton Kershaw pitching for us now. It's a one nothing game late. We need somebody to start some trouble. It's been very defensive. Not a typical All-Star game. All right, we're going to take out Kershaw. And we're going to throw Suter in there. And, woo, runner thrown out. So we s escape one there. Still a one nothing game, though. Now we're going to start pinch hitting some of our starters for some of the backups and let everyone get a shot at competing in this all-star game see if somebody wants to hit a dinger off the bench that'd be great Alex Wood pitching now Osuna pitching the bottom of the eighth as we are bringing in again players who have not played yet not everyone's gonna get in this game but we're gonna try and get most Duvall now It's going to come out for Domingo Santana None of those guys work out We bring in a new pitcher In the top of the ninth We get out of the top of the ninth And now it's time to pinch it as much as we can Here in the bottom of the ninth And see if anybody can get anything done It isn't looking like it so far A single by Taylor And that's, that's it The door is slammed shut And the American League beats the National League one nothing. Very, very boring as far as all-star games are concerned, but a great baseball game, put it that way. And Charlie Blackman on the move from the Rockies to the Mets. What are the Mets thinking? Giving up Conforto, Swarzak, and Jay Bruce for Charlie Blackman. Not a move I would have personally made, but let New York do New York, right? All right, we're still three games above 500. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. This was your all-star special. 
Please let me know what you thought of the All-Star Special. Did you like this format? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Thank you guys for your continued support on this series. And I will see you all on the next video.